In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a 360 degree renders in Twinmotion and you can even share those renders as in form of a presentation on Twinmotion Cloud website. It is a very simple process. It is easy. It is free. And guys, uh, there are a lot of YouTubers doing this and telling you these same things and charging you money for this. So this video will be a short, concise video. If you know basics of Twinmotion, you can go ahead and do 360 degree renders after watching this video. And you can even share those videos onto the cloud collaboration platform. And you will just get a link and a QR code, which you can share it with your clients as well. So this video will be a very informative and helpful video for all of you. So try watching this video till the end. And without any delays, let's get started with Twinmotion. So guys, first thing first, you will need to install Twinmotion. You can install it through Epic Games. And if you have Revit license, you can directly download it through Autodesk website because once you have a Revit license, Twinmotion is free for everyone with Autodesk Revit license. So these are the two methods. Here I have Twinmotion education uh, version, which is, which is pretty nice. You can do whatever you want with that. And uh, I'm going ahead and launching it right now. So here I have already downloaded a model that was pre-made from Twinmotion. Uh, this is called the Lake House. You can also download it. It is open for all. So I'm just opening it up. And this is not a proper uh, Twinmotion tutorial. It is uh, just to give you an overview of how 360 degree renders work and how you can sync it through cloud in a very simple way. Uh, so here is the model and this is how the model looks like, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty nicely made model. You can go inside and have a look at all of these here. Other than that, if uh, I have to give you a basic overview of Twinmotion, uh, on the left hand side, you will find all the material, vegetation. Vegetation is basically what kind of landscape you want, what kind of trees you want, objects. Again, you can use interior, exterior objects over here. Materials are all nicely made materials and mega scans are very high resolution uh, materials that you can use and all the meta uh, mega scan library will be available to you once you have to in motion okay and uh, what you have to do it now uh, what you have to do first is go into media so in media over here on the uh, left hand side taskbar you will see that there are different options so first option is for uh, images so here you generate your image Second option is for your uh, video renders. So all the video renders that you make or you want to make, you can have it over here. And next is panorama. So there are two forms of panorama. There is a panorama set and there is just panorama. So if you just want to create a 360 render, just one single frame, you can go on this panorama uh, images and you can generate so for example if i want to generate a panoramic image over here so i'll just select this and add it so this image is basically a 360 degree image that twin motion will generate for me uh, but our main purpose is to uh, see the panorama set so here we will just go ahead and select all the panoramic images that we have con converted. So here I have see panoramic uh, one raster. So these are all uh, raster images. They won't be very high quality, like ray tracing won't be used over here. Uh, if I go back, I have another set that is panoramic um, ray traced image. So all of these renders are ray traced. So that's how they have been um, segregated over here. So I don't have to do much. I will go on this option over here. As you can see, it's called export. And after going here, you will see cloud early access over here. And there are two options that you can select for early access of cloud. That is your panoramic set. Here we are not going for presentation. Presentation, first of all, it will take a huge amount of time. Uh, again, the quality, of the uh, render that you have 
won't be that good because it is directly linked online and the quality will also depend on the type of internet connections that you have. So I would suggest just go on the panoramic set once you have created your panorama. So just go here and select either one of it. So I will just go on the raster because I want to do it quick. And uh, once you have selected, here you have will have here you will have the option of what kind of resolution you want. I would suggest don't go anything uh, below 4K because uh, it is a panorama and you want to see everything in very high resolution. So at least select 4K and then click on start export. Once you have started exporting, so it will just estimate the time that is left and it will upload whatever you have rendered directly to the Twinmotion cloud. Now next step, how the cloud looks like. Now the export is almost done. It took me around one, one hour to export all the frame over here. And uh, as soon as the export is done, uh, you will see that uploading to cloud uh, window will open and it is now transferring all the rastered uh, rendered images that 360 degree uh, images and it is combining it together and uploading it to the twin motion cloud and once this transferring is completed uh, I will get the link of uh, the cloud website just uh, we might have to wait five minutes for this so this is how the twin motion cloud looks like uh, this is exactly uh, how it will look like for you as well if you are trying from education version version uh, there are few limitations but i think so uh, the overall gist is basically this uh, this is how you will see so before this video i did test out the presentation version as well but the only problem was again uh, internet connection the quality you will have to at least at least go for 4k or 6k quality to have a great looking presentation video because it is it is a video format where you can see the animated grass you can see the water moving and all of those things so that's why it takes a lot more time but if you just want a uh, steady shots 360 degree panoramic views and uh, all combined together where people can click and view it into a VR space. So this is the best version. So once this is done, uh, you will find that there is a QR code and link that is given over here. You can share it with any of your client. You can even generate a password. So no one else other than the client can view the presentation. And uh, once this is done, just click on the pano path trace or like whatever name you want to give your presentation as. And this is how the presentation looks like. So these are all the rooms that I uh, rendered and they are exactly how they are supposed to be over here. So this is the washroom. I will again go back into the living room area. So the quality is pretty good. You can have like n number of renders over here. Like I, I have just made like few renders, but if you want, you can have like 20 renders over here where you can zoom in, zoom out. People can experience their space. It is far more easier for us to explain this way to client uh, rather than just uh, staying here and like, you know, just steady renders or video walkthrough. Here people can see what kind of space it is. If they have VR set, they can even see uh, like actual sizes. Like they will see everything one is to one scale, not just on a video screen or a rendered image. So this is how it is. Uh, this is how you uh, do a panoramic 360 render on twin motion. It is very easy, very handy. And the quality, of course, it's not at all bad as you can see on your screen right now. The quality is pretty good and uh, I feel it's a uh, great thing for us architects to use something like this to show our drawings, our renders, our uh, thinking, our design. So go ahead, try it out and mention it in the comment section if you have any kind of doubt or queries or if you have already tried it and what is your review for this. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, 
I would request all of you so to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I am able to make these kind of videos just because you guys are supporting. I want you guys to learn more, be ahead in your game. And of course, I'm not charging anything for this. It's just your subscription and just your support that keeps me going. So take care, keep supporting and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.